Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. I hope everyone are doing well. My name is Cikgu Osman from Sekolah Menengah Sains Kubang Pasu. I will be teaching you Sains for Form 3. Today we will learn Chapter 9, that is Space Weather. And to be more specific, Chapter 9.1, the some activities that affect the Earth. First, take a look at the diagram beside me. What can you see? Yes. You can see the structure of the sun. Sun consists of prominence, sunspot, flare, corona, chromosphere, photosphere, and lastly, core, a core. Now, let's get a bit more detail about the structure of the sun. Corona is the outermost layer that can be seen during a total solar eclipse. Chromosphere is the second layer that can be seen only during a total solar eclipse. Then, what about photosphere? Photosphere is the innermost layer as seen from the Earth. It radiates heat and light from the sun. Before we go even more detail about the structure of the sun, let's learn that the sun compromise of three zones. First, convection zone, second, radiation zone, and lastly, core zone. For now, let's review what we have learned so far. The structure of the sun consists of corona, that is, uppermost part of the atmosphere, million of mile thick. Then, chromosphere, that is orange red layer of atmosphere, thousands of miles thick. Then, photosphere, that is lower atmosphere, and we see from us. Then, let's know about core zone for everyone information. That is where the nuclear fission occur. And other two zones, that is radiation zone and convection zone. Now, let's get more detail about convection zone. This is the place where the hot gas expand and rise to the photosphere throughout the process of convection. And transfer of heat throughout convection occur more rapidly other than transfer of heat throughout the radiation. And the range of temperature in convection zone is between 5,500 5, degrees Celsius to 500,000 degrees Celsius. What about radiation zone? What we can learn about radiation zone? First, we learn that heat is transferred throughout radiation from atom to atom. And the transfer of heat throughout radiation take a long time, up to 100,000 years from the core to the convection zone. And the range of temperature in the radiation zone is between 1.5 million degrees Celsius to 50 million degrees Celsius. Lastly, let's learn about core zone. Almost 99% of heat energy is produced throughout the combination of two hydrogen nuclei, which produce one helium-3 nucleus and one neutron. And the temperature of the core is about 50 million degrees Celsius. So, we have learned about structure of the sun. Now, let's learn about phenomena that occur on the surface of the sun. Phenomena that occur on the surface of the sun include granule, sunspot, solar cycle, prominence, solar flare, coronal mass ejection, and solar wind. What is granule? Granule is a small mark in the photosphere of the sun caused by the convection currents. Then, did you know about solar cycle? Solar cycle is the cycle that the sun magnetic field goes through approximately every 11 years. What about sunspot? A sunspot is dark spot 
on the surface of photosphere and its temperature lower than its surrounding. Okay, next is prominence. Prominent is explosion of hot gas that shoot drop from the sun chromosphere with a shiny bright light. And it can be seen near the edge of the sun during an eclipse of the sun. A prominence emits charged particle and ultraviolet ray into outer space. And this phenomena can take place for a short period even last for several weeks. Okay, next is solar flare. A solar flare is a sudden eruption of intense and hot gas near a sunspot. Now, let's learn about solar wind. The solar wind consists of high energy particles such as electron, proton, and alpha that move at the rate of 100 km per second and radiate by the sun around the Earth's magnetic field. The Earth's magnetic field produces a protector known as magnetosphere. The Earth's magnetic field will block the solar wind and cosmic ray from entering the Earth's space of the Earth. And magnetosphere is used to protect us from the adverse effect caused by dangerous particles from the sun or other bodies in the universe. As you can see in the picture, magnetosphere that is Earth's magnetic field, in the picture it was represented by the blue lines, are protecting our Earth from solar wind. Solar wind represented by yellow color in the picture. Lastly, let's learn about aurora. Charged particle as a result of solar flare reach the north or south pole of the Earth and collide with gas molecule in the atmosphere. As a result, colorful lights that consist of green, yellow, red light are produced and this light can be seen at night are called aurora. As you can see in the picture, that the beautiful aurora. Alright everyone, we have reached the end of the learning session. Today, we have learned about the structure of the sun. I hope that everyone understand and be able to achieve our objective today. Keep learning no matter where we are because the world is now just, just at our fingertips. That's all for today. Until we meet again, thank you.